More than 40 million Americans are bracing for possible severe weather today. A tornado tore through Ohio yesterday. That's northwest of Dayton is where it occurred. Several buildings were damaged there. Large pieces of hail pounded South Carolina and winds accelerated to around 70 miles an hour. Farther south, right, rising the rivers in Louisiana and Texas have forced evacuations. David Begno's in Deweyville, Texas, where the governor has declared a state of emergency. David, good morning. Gail, good morning. It's the seventh day we've been covering severe flooding in the south, and if you are feeling flood fatigued and you think every picture you're seeing is starting to look the same, let me tell you, this is some of the worst that we have seen. It is five miles between us and the downtown Deweyville, and everything is underwater. The National Weather Service is using the word catastrophic. The flooding on the Sabine River here near Deweyville is the highest it's been in 100 years. Flood water has submerged the town of Deweyville, Texas, turning this community of about 1,000 people into an island. Homes, schools, and cars are buried underwater. Yeah, we've been kind of going around the clock between the houses trying to get stuff high as we can. I don't know if it'll be any good, but we tried. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered for areas along the Sabine River, which is swollen to unprecedented levels. But some people have decided to stay. Been here probably uh, 50 years. I'm just sitting here waiting, watching, keeping my house safe. After days of torrential rain, record amounts of water were released from the Toledo Bend Dam upstream. That water is now rushing down the Sabine River and right into the town of Deweyville. Well, I'm. 75 years old, never saw it like this before. In Louisiana, the severe flooding has damaged more than 6,000 buildings. The Pearl River near Slidell has reached its second highest crest on record as water continues to push toward communities. Back here in Deweyville, they last checked this morning. The Sabine River was at 32.99 feet. Nora, it's expected to crest later today at 35 feet. And I got to tell you, it is not an overstatement to say near downtown Deweyville, everything is underwater. Wow, David, thank you so much.